Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Mach and Leira online smicha. As we are pro approaching the final hours from this year, and it's Ev Rosh Hashanah, I'd like to share with you an amazing event that I witnessed last night, and maybe to uh, add something to it. We all know that it says in Shulchan Aruch and Ramah, and Simen Tov Kuf Pei Aleph, Siv Gimel, it really t teaches us the approach of a, what a Yid has to enter Rosh Hashanah. We all know Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur is Yom Adin and Tamli Chuni Aleichem, very awesome, sort of fearful days from one hand. But yet in Shulchan Aruch it says that you have to mechapsim or mistaprim by Rosh Hashanah. A person has a uh, mitzvah to uh, uh, take a good shower, take a good nice haircut, get dressed up very nicely on Erev Rosh Hashanah. And it doesn't really fit with the with the theme that it's a, a fearful day, but yet we know that the reason is that the reason behind this is as it's mentioned in the Torah, because we know who the judge is. We know the Abishta Arvinu Malkenu, and we are confident that the Abishta will only sign and seal things that are good for the Eden. Now that's it's actually brought that when the Mishnah says Yom Tov on the Shecholi Yes B'Shabbos, I think the Chasam Sefer says, why does it say Yom Tov Shorosh Hashanah Shecholi Yes B'Shabbos? Why doesn't he say Rosh Hashanah Shecholi is B'Shabbos? Because here too, the Mishnah is stressing, with all, you know what Rosh Hashanah is all about. Just remember, it's a Yom Tif. It's supposed to be a happy time, a happy day. Don't let it stress you out. So anyways, this is an introduction to, I want to say, what I, a, a beautiful experience I had last night. Uh, so the Ramah, in that simon, says, V'yesh mekaymas, there are places there are places that the minigas on the Erev Rosh Hashanah, they go to the base HaChayim, and you daven, especially there, you, it arouses you for a, 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 a stronger davening. So the Ramaz words were, go to base HaChayim. And the, the Magen Avram says, And go daven by the Kivrit Tzadikim, and, and, and this alone is a discussion. What does it mean? How do you daven to a tzaddik? It means that they should uh, intervene on your behalf. You're not asking the tzaddik himself necessarily to do it, but you're asking the, tzad uh, the tzaddik to, to go to the Kisei Kavan and, and daven for you. That's the famous dis discussion. We'll leave that for another time. So, as the minig is, and it's actually one of the minhagim, the minhagim Chabad also that we go, we go to the scene of a tzaddik, the scene of the tzaddikim. So I was last night, in the, uh, last night, late at night, like what was it? Uh, it was like, I think one o'clock in the morning and, the, and, and by the Rebbe's oil, and the place was packed. Last night, meaning at a Rosh Hashanah, as it, it should be. But that th different type, the types of people that were there were all sorts. You'll think you would see Lubavitchers with black hats and kapot. No, all different sorts, sorts of people. And I, what, what fascinated me, this is about uh, one o'clock in the morning, I see a group of, I would call them modern Orthodox or uh, yeshivish people, a big group sitting in a blast tent and they're listening to quote unquote, like a motivational speech from their Rebbe. And I found out their Rebbe is their uh, teacher in high school. And these, these people come together always around Rosh Hashanah time with their former teacher from the high school, and he gives them chizuk on the day of uh, Erev Rosh Hashanah, maybe some other times too. So I stood and listened for a minute, a vart that he said, and it was a geshmak vart. He was quoting a Mishnah in Masechus in uh, Shkolim. But over there the Mishnah says that the way the Eden would buy, would able to come to the Beis HaMikdash and buy the Nesachim, buy the wines, and whatever is needed for the carbon. Instead of a lot of times, if you didn't schlep your own, you wanted to just buy what, what, what's, what's allowed and kosher to be used. So you would go into the base of Mikdash, and there was a, a store type of thing, and you would buy, and then they would use it for your nesach, or for your carbon. So how was it set up? You, you bought a chaisim. You went and you bought like a token, a chaisim. And then you would take that token Depending what 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 you what you order, that token you know where to go to which closet, to which office, and that office. Oh, you have this chaisim, 
then uh, you, you get this wine, this flower, or whatever it is. And if you have the other chais, and they knew which, where, where, which, uh, which room, which store to collect your goods. So the Mishnah says, fine. Me, how about Misha Avard Chaismai? What happens if somebody bought the coins? He bought his uh, coin to be able to buy his goods that he needed for his carbon. But uh, somehow, as he's talking or he's walking around, he lost his coin. He, now, he, how does he prove that he paid already for the wine or for, for the flower, for whatever he needs? So the Mishnah said, he, and he's coming to that, uh, uh, to that door, and he says, I paid already for this, I deserve to get my wine. So the Mishnah says, "Mi sha'avat chaysmai, nois nimloy ad erev." We can't give him now the wine because we don't know. It was it taken? Maybe somebody else who found the coin and used it. I, how, should we just trust him? So the Mishnah says, "We wait until the evening, and in the evening, when the when the managers who are in charge come together, we'll, we would match up how many coins were sold and how many wines." We're given an exchange, and we'll know if the extra coin was sold. Da da da. Very good. Very good. Mishnah. So he says, Allow me to say this Mishnah al Derech Adrush. And he says, A beautiful pshat. Every Yid has the Tselem Elikim. And we know it says, Ki Tselem Elikim Baras Adam Chavivim Yisrael Shemnikru Banim Alamakim. And if a Yid does what he's supposed to do, he He's never. He should never be afraid from chayas or Never be afraid from anything because v'ro kol kishem Hashem nikra alecha v'yarom imeka. So you just have to do what's right, and you create. You have this image of the tzelam alekim on you. Achmad al tzan chas v'sholem. If a person is drifting away, so his he loses slowly his tzelam alekim. It fades out. He loses rachmad al tzan his chaysam. His chaysa means his seal, his feature, his figure that he's supposed to have. Me shavat chaysmois, he learned shat. What should a person do who never drifted away and he lost his telemilkim? Mamtinin loyada erev. We don't, this is not exactly what he said. I'm going to spice it up, but I, what, what I heard. We, we don't give up on him. He's never falling and his, his chaysam. He doesn't look like a regular Jew anymore, Rachman al he doesn't act, but we never give up on him. We give him a chance, Ad Ha'erev, till the evening. What's the evening? The evening is till the end, till the end. The Erev Rosh Hashanah is the end of the year, the end of the days, all the times when a person makes Chesh and Anavish, he could always correct his past. Maybe you can even add the Erev means to old age. He'll come back, he'll come back, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. We don't give up on a yid now forever. We say, wait, 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 wait when he grows older. And wait when Erev Rosh Hashanah comes, Erev Yom Kippur comes. Or wait, if you see somebody doing something negative bad in the morning, wait till the evening. He might be doing tshuva for what he, never give up. I thought that was a fascinating shot. But I would like to add one more nekudah. The chaysim that he said is the chaysim, the, the feature, the telem alekim. I was thinking, because actually in the way back from the oil, I put on some music, and I was listening to somebody, uh, Chazan, singing in the Sana Taikif. And in the Sana Taikif, he says, Oh, and, and in that book, uh, the Ebeshta opens up the Sefer on the Zechreinus, and in that book, there's everybody's writing, and everybody's choysem. Everybody signed off on his deeds. Now, you can't, in other words, there's no lying upstairs. Everything is signed up there. Whatever is written there happened. What happens if the person's chaysim is missing? His, his, uh, in, I mean, in, in the chaysim is usually for a negative thing. But let's say he committed to be good. He committed to, he signed on to be good. And it did, he didn't produce. Don't give up. There's all, a yid will also always come back. Ada Erev, somewhere before the Erev. Now there, I once heard a Abshat, and I want to add to this too. The Mishnah says, the Mishnah says, in the, op, the first Mishnah in the Brachis, May Masek Karin Shema Ba'arvin, when do you read Shema in the evening? And then we have the Machlekes, what, what's the Zman Kriyashma? So I think I once read or heard a Pshat from one of the Baba Verebis. May Masek Karin Shema, when is it, when 
could a man, could a yid say Shema? When is it true his Kabbalah's Earl Malcho Shemaim? When does a yid show that he's accepting the yoke of Shemaim? Ba'arvin, when he mixes with others. Taruvis, when he's not on his own. When he's, he's, he's mingling with another Jew. They're getting along. So Arvin, Erev, doesn't only have the taich of evening. Erev has the taich of mixing. So perhaps, even if somebody, Rahman al let's say, fell and he lost his tzelem and his chesim yad is negative and all that, maybe that's because he's on his own. Maybe we wait for the time when he mixes and he, he gets close to another yid who will help him. And then he will for sure become a, where he has to be. And that's, that's something that we say, no yid should ever be for, forgotten or, forget, or, or overlooked because every yid will have What's the shahachas? Shah doesn't only mean an hour. Shah means a care, a, a turn. One turn. Instead of going racing towards the left with all your nonsense, he just turns and focuses all that spirit to the right. And that one turn, the tshuva maizim toivim changes the whole person to the status of a tzadik gomer. And you know there is the third taich too of arev. Arev means sweet. And when a person just does this, he mingles with another yid, and, and he doesn't wait, and it's not a good, good bench, just sweet year.